I have made my bed every single day for the past eight years, and this is what I have learned. It all started in mid-2012, where I enrolled in a school that shall not be named, but let's just say that I shook Barack Obama's hand during my graduation, and all I have proof of that is a picture that looks like it's photoshopped, and uh, yeah, thanks Obama. When I was in college, I had to make my bed every single day for the four years I was in, and there were some days where I had to make my bed a little bit nicer, some days I just had to make my bed. After four years of this ingrained habit, I brought it onto my day-to-day -day life. Whether I am traveling for fun, whether I'm traveling for work, or I'm going back home, or I'm just coming back to my own bed, every single day, I try to make my bed. Most of you have probably seen Admiral William McRaven's commencement speech at the University of Texas at Austin talking about how to change the world. So if you want to change the world, start off by making your bed. He started off with the first habit of making your bed. Now, I'm not exactly sure if making your bed will exactly change the world as I have personally done it for the past eight years every single day. I don't think I have impacted the world just any bit. Although it will be awesome, I don't continuously make my bed because I want to change the world. I make my bed because it looks clean, it looks nice, it looks flat, it looks like something that I have done for myself, which also Admiral McRaven explained a little bit in his speech as well. But I also think that it has created and instilled a very foundational organizational habit that I have. So this is my closet right here. I actually have a way to sort out my clothes, even though it looks like a mess right now. It really has some sort of organizational scheme with this chaos. For example, in my closet, I have all of my workout clothes all bunched up in one end of the closet. Because this is a side opening closet, I put my most used garments on one side, which happens to be my workout clothes. I work out practically five days per week and utilizing my wardrobe, I will get a new shirt every single day that I go to work out. Right next to my gym clothes, I also have my PJs that I utilize these typical shirts as just wear at home and just chill out clothes. Additionally, on this half of the closet, I have my long sleeve sweaters that I would take with me to go work out in the case where outside is a little bit cooler than I think it is. I would just grab this as part of my workout wardrobe and then I go on with my day. Another thing that I've learned from making my bed every single day for the past eight years is the purpose of organization, like I said before. So inherently, I track my food practically every single day, every single meal. I have my MyFitnessPal right on my app, so very simple. I have my phone with me all the time, and whenever I eat, I track so much calories, so many um, carbs, fats, proteins, all that other stuff. And not only that, I teach my online fitness clients, which I run Beast Recruit Training with, with uh, you know, Amondo Nava, and also I, I have to live that kind of lifestyle because if I was to lead, another client or teach another client, I had to lead by example, right? That being said, my habits of making my bed inherently created a habit of me tracking my food extremely accurately. We're talking about by the gram. Legit, I have a food scale. I weigh my food and I track it by the freaking gram because I think it is important. The little small things matter as what the Admiral said. So. I am going to have my freaking dinner and I'm going to weigh out how much protein I'm going to eat because if I eat too much protein, it's just pointless. So I got to make sure I have adequate protein, not only too much protein, but adequate protein for my freaking dinner, which I'm going to have some chicken breast, chicken breast, plain chicken breast, oh, so delicious, oh my goodness, oh, Alex. You're such a nice chef. No, no, I'm not. I, I legit just bake my chicken and it's probably tasteless as crap. 
And, uh, sorry, Mom. Sorry, Mom, I have disappointed you. 173. Oh, yeah, for the people who didn't believe me, this is legit my diary right here. You see it? You see it? Is it focused? Freaking focus, man. Now respect it. I am not saying and attributing making my bed has made me super OCD with data collecting and just being super OCD and organizing because realistically, you could see my desk right now and also my office area that I have right here that it is not the most uh, sorted out thing right here, right? Like it's pretty minimalistic right here. Um, you could see it's just my laptop, monitor, mouse, all that sorts. But then if you turn over here, right over here, right next to my desk is a huge mess right here. Some people might not even think it is a mess, but essentially there's no organization on where it is. It's just like random stuff on there, batteries for my camera, there's a pack of sour candy, like what the heck, dude. All right, and then there was like all this other stuff, notebooks, tissues, I don't freaking know. So I'm not saying that I became OCD from making my bed, but I am saying that making my bed what made me super good at being organized. It's made me super good with thinking about compartmentalizing different things in my life. It made a lot of things smoother because Otherwise, I would not have done any sort of organization. By chance that I happened to be slightly like organized when I was growing up, but making my bed amplified it. Like it legitimately taught me the details matter. The small details, the small things that you do to make your bed look good matter because not everybody will see it like from far away, right? Not, all, not everybody will see like the difference far away, but once you have someone like walk closer to your product, once someone actually took a freaking, I don't know, just some, a little bit of effort just to look deeper than what the surface shows, then you can see the, the little minute cracks, kinks on, on the product. All of a sudden, you guys might be thinking, why do you have a list for it now? It's because I have my retainers on. You see, I got my braces off about like a month ago and I, I didn't do anything with it. And now, um, yeah, retainers. I have to have retainers for two months. Then I get to take them off and just wear them at night. I know, sick dude. There's no freaking fine print about those when you get braces, but hey, surprise, surprise. Going back to what Admiral McRaven said about if you want to change the world, start by making your bed. I know that he was not exactly and literally saying that will directly affect a change in the world. I think what he really meant and what I interpreted it as is that some people need to have some self-development. In order for our world to change as in our perspective, we need to start developing some sort of discipline, some sort of organization, some sort of cleanliness in our lives in order for us to feel better and also to be able to take care of ourselves before we help others. Because if we have our lives together, it is a lot easier to help everybody else. It is a lot easier to lend a hand to somebody that's actually in need when we are not in need. So with that being said, I hope you guys are convinced in making your bed because it literally does not take much effort. It, it takes maybe like two to three minutes, max maybe 10, and you could spare 10 minutes out of your day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate it if you smash the thumbs up button because it really helps the video out and it also helps it get word to people who can um, help develop themselves and help start changing the world just by making their bed. I'll catch you guys later. See you later, dude. Body on my mind, it's working over time. I know I said we'd only do this once. But you gave me that good thing. Got a girl addicted. Got me second guessing what I want. Got me reaching for my phone, yeah, when the lights are. Obsessing if I'm running through your window. Cause you're doing cardio around.